Hi everybody, subscribe to my daddy's channel and go to Quamstool 8 and click the thumbs up and click the bell and subscribe. All right, everybody. Today we're about to take a look at Cinema HD. 1.3.9. Let's take a quick look at it and then I'll show you how to download it. Right there, Cinema HD. All right, it'll show it was down, updated on December 19th. They fixed some sources, they fixed some bugs, they upgraded the autoplay, they added sorting mode. You can sort by size, host priority. You can change the links inside the built in player. All right. Let's go right here. You have your TV shows. Everything's pretty much the same. You just press one. You can pick which season. Then you can go choose your episode. Also, if it's something that you love, a TV show, you can press this box right here, this heart. And it'll be saved to your favorites. Alright. Let's go back over again. Next thing you have is your movies. I see they have a Christmas section starting it off. You can go into this little triangle at the top. And you can change that to popular or now playing and so on. Everything's pretty much the same with that. Then you have your favorites. Where I push that heart button, it'll show it right here. Any TV show that you want to continue to see, it'll show up right here if you press that heart button. Then it'll have history for everywhere that you've been, which I've been to that one place so far. Then if you want to download, which I wouldn't, but you can download. And you have your settings right here where you can change a few things. You can change your default player. I just use the built-in one. You can change your poster size and I'll just click down so you can see all the different things you can do. There's where you can sort the links ordered by size. There's your autoplay options. Your real debris, your track TV, font size, and so on. All right. That's pretty much it. But Cinema HD, that's one of my favorites. And now I'll show you how I download it. Alright, to get Cinema HD 1.3.9 from scratch. As always, if you don't have this stuff, I'm gonna show you how to get it. And if you do have it, you can just skip over skip over a lot of it. First of all, we're gonna go over to settings. Go down over to the right to my fire TV. Go to developer options. Make sure to turn on your ADB debugging as well as apps from unknown sources. Once you see this, just press turn on. Once that's done, push your home button. Now, we're going to download Downloader if you don't have it. For that, we'll go over right here to Apps. Go down once, over to your right to Categories, and all the way down to Utility. Once inside, you'll find it right there, Downloader. Go ahead and press it to download it. And as always, if you find this video helpful, please subscribe. All right, it's done. Go ahead and open. Once inside, you see this, just press OK. First thing we want to do is go over to your left. Go all the way down to settings right here. Press that. Make sure to enable JavaScript. And when you press it, it'll ask you, do you want to enable it? Just press yes. All right, you should have three, all three boxes checked. Then go up to your home. And right after this HTTP, you want to download APK time. This is only if you don't have it. I'm going to go ahead and type this in. And it is apktime.com forward slash apps. Once you have that, go ahead and press go. 
If you see this screen, just press OK. Then just download one of these three APK times. I like doing that platinum one. Once it's done, go down over to your right to install. Once it's done, go ahead and press open. And to get Cinema HD, it should be in your top APKs, which is this first selection. Alright, it's kind of acting up on me. Let me go back in it. Alright, okay, it's moving now. It'll be in your top session, top APKs. Go ahead and press that. The first one will be the older one, which is 1.3.8 and 0.6. And right here, you'll see 1.3.9. That's the one you want to download, the one that says 1.3.9, updated December 20th. Go ahead and press the download button. All right, the download's complete. Go down over to the right to install it. All right, go ahead and press open. It's going to show you where they changed different things for the update from December 19th. Go down to OK. Now you're in. All right, the choice is yours. Thank you. Do not forget to swipe.